Hey guys, I hope you're all doing well. First off, um, I am trying a new angle with my recording, I'm trying to see how this goes. So if you're wondering why it looks a little bit different, that is why I'm trying a down view as opposed to a front view. So we'll see how this goes. So I'm here today to share with you a design team project for craft supplies for you. And I made three different ones. Now, I first saw this idea. I was watching um, Sonia. Her YouTube is Halls for Crafts with the number four. And she had showed this idea of she bought these placemats. They're from Dollar Tree. And of course, you guys know I love Dollar Tree. Um, she had done this haul and she showed these placemats and she had this idea of like folding them together and making like a pocket or like an envelope type of thing. And I totally love that idea. So um, I had been on the hunt for some of these placemats and my local Dollar Tree hadn't had any. And then the next farthest one out for me, I found a couple. So I was pretty excited. Um, so this is what I created. So this is the first one and it might be kind of hard to see some of it because it's black and black's very hard to photograph. Um, so I took the black one. What you do basically is you take, well you kind of see, the placement and you fold it up. I know she gave some dimensions but I kind of did like the size that I like because I wanted to be able to put a lot of stuff in here. So you take it, you fold it to your desired length, and then this edge right here, you glue it so all this part stays open because if you glue it here, you'll see you'll just have a kind of a smaller opening. So I just glued both sides right here, and then I had this huge pocket to be able to put stuff in, and then this flips over. Now I haven't decided if I wanted to like use some Velcro here, or if I wanted to put a little tie, or just leave it as is to keep it closed. Um, I couldn't decide, so I just decided to not do that part yet on any of these. So they're not really sealed, but as you can see, there's a big pocket here to put your goodies in. And so on this one, what I did was I took this trim right here. Now this comes, if you can see, it has this black satin trim, and it has like this kind of zebra pattern underneath. So I took that because obviously I wanted it to coordinate with the black. So I put that all the way across and I like the fact that it has like, um, it's kind of like ruffled. I really like that. And then I took this piece right here. It starts here and it goes to here. Sorry, I hope I'm in frame here. Um, so like this, it's a wider lace and it's flat, which I liked and it has this pretty scalloped edge to it. So I put that down. And then this other trim right here, it's like a flower trim, and it's new to the shop because I, I just got it. And so I just kind of laid that down, and then these mesh bling pieces I cut off of a strip and just put one in the center of each of these little flowers. And the mesh bling comes in several different colors. Um, I had the black one for a minute, and I finally was like, because... I don't, even though black's my favorite color, I don't use it all that much. So I've been waiting for an opportunity to use it. And so I was pretty excited that I got to use it on this project. So I just put one, each of the centers there. And then right here, um, I don't know, did I mention every single thing I use besides the placemats are from the shop. And I know she's always getting new stuff in. And so um, I just been trying to focus on using nothing but supplies that are from the shop so I took these doily pieces and um, kind of made them like a leaf type of thing kind of what I decided to do to make the design for the top flap so I put those down and then I added this flower right here as you can see it's super pretty and it comes with these two leaves I kind of just cut them and then put them underneath and then glued this down and it comes with these little stamens and stuff in the center and then on the top and here at the bottom I added one of these little pieces right there just kind of make it coordinate together and um, that's basically what I did for this one I think it came out cute of course I love black and white so 
this is ready to go pretty much to fill it with some goodies and send it to a friend in a just a little rack. I think they're really fun ideas to um, send some goodies to somebody. So that's the first one I did. Then the next one I did looks like this. Now this is obviously a cream colored mat and again I did the same thing. I just kind of measured it to how I wanted it and then just glued this part, not this part, just this part right here and then um, figured that's the length that I wanted. I pretty much did them all about the same size and so with this one down here underneath I put first this trim down right here it's really pretty it's white and it has like the silver detail to it and then um, I decided to put this white one on top of it which has the satin and then the lace over it and it ended up being just about the length of this one you can barely just see a little bit of the silver popping through but I really like the way that looked and it gives it like um, like a nice full kind of look to it and I really like that and then on top of that I added this trim right here this like oval shaped one and this kind of alternates with like a cream color and a white and then like a cream color and white so I just kind of put that across and then added this pearl trim right here down the center of it because I really like the way that it looked and then at the top um, I took this trim right here which is new and I at first I was gonna put this edge poking out to see how this kind of sticks out some I was originally gonna do that and then I decided to turn it this way and then I liked the way this looked better so I just went around the edge of the top with that trim and then here in the center I took two doilies and if you guys are like a doily fan make sure you guys check out the shop because there's tons of doilies there's like different cream colored ones and white ones and all different shapes and styles so if you're into that definitely check it out so I layered these two doilies down and then I added this butterfly from the shop and those do come in several other colors as well so I just kind of put it there and it kind of ties in because it has like the silver detail ties into the trim right here that's silver as well and so that's the way this one came out it's kind of more of a, a vintagey feel to it I guess so there's that one and then the final one that I did of course I had to use some pink so this is the final one that I did again I used another of the cream color placemats and then just glued it together like I said just the sides and then got it to the desired size that I wanted and then for laces as you can see like every single one of these trims I'm showing you guys and all the flowers everything is from the shop um, so for this one I took this double layer trim right here and this comes with the um, the satin already and it has this real pretty organza trim connected to it and then over that because I wanted to use this trim again but I kind of didn't it was a little bit kind of plain for me so I put this one underneath so that it would show see how you can see like pink popping through here I wanted pink to show so I just layered those on top of each other of course you guys know I love to layer my laces so I put that down and then I added this pink ruffle trim right here it's real pretty it's gathered in the middle and then um, it has like a solid stripe on the top and the bottom and then it's like sheer organza in the center it's really super pretty it's one of my favorites and then I added this like crochet type of trim this pink or cream colored I added it to the center all the way down because the fact that the placemat itself was cream and then I'm using white I kind of wanted just to kind of bring it together so I decided instead of using another white trim here in the center I used a cream color so it would match the placemat so I put that down there and then here at the top I took this trim right here and now it's a trim that looks like this white one except it's the organza one and it's really thin I don't know how well you guys can see but 
see this is the underside you can kind of see it right there it's a really thin one and that does come in several colors as well so I went around it with that one because I kind of wanted to have some popping through and then again I just used the same trim from the center right here and I just layered it on top of this trim and I really like the effect that it gave I think it's really pretty and then for my center I took these flowers now they come with these little pink leaves here and I kind of just bunched them together because I didn't want to do something like too big so I just took three of those flowers and they're super pretty they come with the pearls and the pearl sprays in the center like that already so I just took three and I put one in the middle and then obviously one on each side added the little pink leaves and then I put three of these little white flowers at the bottom and then there's also like three here at the top and those are really pretty they have like a um, satin and organza layers so I took three and then three just to kind of make a little like a little bit fuller looking and um, because these are kind of dimensional so I didn't want to have any gaps or anything in between so I went ahead and did that and it kind of filled the gaps and made it look nice and full and pretty so I really like the way that came out so um these were pretty simple to do like I love the idea when I saw Sonia's video that I really wanted to try these and of course I have lots of gorgeous trims from the shop so I um, knew this would be like a perfect project to do so these are the three that I did let me know what you guys think and make sure you guys check out the shop like I said she's always getting new items in all the time um, laces and flowers and metal pieces charms all kinds of stuff so make sure you guys check it out thank you so much for watching bye